Let me take a sip. Hey, what's up you guys? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So I took like a four month break, I know, but this is my comeback video. I literally just checked my channel and saw like how much time I took off. It's four months. I think it's the longest I took off YouTube, mainly because I was so freaking busy what this whole video is about. So buckle up, welcome back, let's go. So in today's video, it's gonna be, first of all, a little coffee talk and I legit have my coffee right here and I fucking match it. That's how extra I am. No, I didn't think about it really. <laughs> I just love this mug and I was like, let me make coffee for my new video and I ended up matching it, so cheers. So I asked you guys on Instagram about a month ago and I told you like I haven't been on YouTube in so long I asked you guys on Instagram. Did I say that? I don't know But I asked you guys on Instagram and I told you like I haven't been on YouTube for like a long time and I want to go back to it because I um, Wanted to film this whole time like don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't uninspired or um, over it or it definitely gets discouraging sometimes when people don't subscribe to my channel or um, when people don't watch my videos, it definitely gets like a little bit discouraging, but I love it so much and it's just a way for me to just create, create content, to film, to edit. It's just one of my favorite things to do is to create and to share. So whatever happens on my channel, I will always be making videos, hopefully. But I told you guys, like, I haven't been on YouTube and I don't know how to come back. Like, I, I didn't want to just four months later have a makeup for summer video, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of fake, I feel like. It's like, um, this channel is a little bit more personal to me. I love it so much. I share with you guys who I really am. Like, I don't fake it or like put a persona behind it or something like that. So I felt kind of awkward just coming back with a um, regular classic video, like a makeup or fashion video. So you guys voted and 60% of you guys said chit chat life slash life advice. And then 52% said um, just where you've been. Like um, you guys know like a couple uh, months ago, like last year actually, not a couple months ago, last year I started my brand which is Kadali Design Studios which is a lifestyle home decor interior design brand. Well, I don't know why I did this because it, it's an actual brand. <laughs> When I started it, literally, I started Kadali Design like four years ago. Um, the story behind it, I think I have it on my I started a company video. I will link it down below if you guys want to watch it. And I um, showed you guys my fall and winter collection. And I started with that. That was like my first thing that I created and released. It was my fall and winter pillow collection and the thought behind it obviously was something just very personal something that I look for in the market that I don't really find um, I can't find um, seasonal pillows that are good quality very well made and also affordable so um, it's something that I've always wanted but I don't find it so I just decided I'm gonna make it because I know that I change home decor um, from season to season, like from fall to winter to spring to summer, literally, I revamp everything every single season. So I came up with this idea of, of seasonal home decor, an affordable one and a very good quality and very well made and made with so much love and passion and uh, blood, sweat and tears, <laughs> literally. So. Um, so that's when I started it, like back in November 2017, I think. I don't think I know but um, a couple like months later I felt like um, like the customers behavior here in Morocco is still very skeptic of online shopping which is weird because hello it's 2018 I don't know how people still have to go to the store <laughs> I do everything online I shop for everything online everything I do online and when I can't find something online that's when I go to like a physical store or something like that so um, I realized the customer behavior is definitely um, very skeptic still whoa messy hair sorry very skeptic of shopping online so I decided that the best 
next step would be to showcase my collection and showcase my products so that people can see them in person and people can feel them and just feel the quality and feel like how good it is made because I'm not like just bragging because it's my brand but it's really really high quality and I would not do anything less than that because I would never just buy something that's low quality unless I plan on throwing it away. And buying home decor at this point is definitely not something that you throw away. It's definitely something that you keep in your home for like uh, months and months, if not years. So one of my new year resolutions was that 2018 is gonna be my business year. Like, it's gonna be a year around business, around making moves, around like going out there and sharing my thing and what I do and share it with more people and let it be known that I do home decor, interior design, stuff like that. So I just said it, I wrote it down, I put it out there into the universe and that makes your brain, that makes my brain at least, um, think about it and make it true and make it real because I genuinely make everything that I want happen. Whether it, it takes years or it takes months or it takes an, a day, I just am very just focused on making things happen that I really want them to happen. Unless like there's a huge force that's stopping me from doing that, that's a whole other story. But, um, so I decided 2018 was going to be my business here and since people don't really want to buy online that much and also I'm a new brand, like why would people really trust me and stuff like that? So I decided I'm, I was going to showcase my stuff and I started looking for events for that, like um, private sales and stuff like that. And I started looking into it, I started contacting other people that are um, organizing these things and getting prices and getting numbers and getting, you know, statistics and how did this work last year and how did this work last year. And although I found some small ones that were um, very cheap um, compared to what I did, I stumbled upon um, this event that's called Le Salon Ramadanesque that I actually did that you would know about if you follow me on Instagram so if you don't go ahead and follow me on Instagram um, Wow, it's all green today. I love it My shirt, my mug, my plants. I'm just loving life Oh, and my necklace. Oh, I have a thing with green. It's official. Okay, moving on so I stumbled upon Le Salon Ramadanesque, and if you don't know about it, it's an event that, that happens um, a month before uh, Ramadan comes in, and it really just, uh, it's a huge showcase that has a lot of visitors and a lot of like good um, brands that come and showcase their stuff, and it's all like, it's not all about it, all about traditional stuff, but um, the theme is obviously Ramadan. So the brands that come in have like clothing and food and mostly clothing. <laughs> so it was not cheap, <laughs> I gotta say. That's just how it works. You work to get money, you get that money, invest it to make more money, and that's just how it goes as an entrepreneur. So there you go. I decided to do um, that showcase and it was more than I expected. That's the thing. I was really happy with it. I went in so, so stressed out. So freaking drained because when I decided to do, like, to look for a showcase for an event to showcase my stuff, I hadn't had a new collection at that point. I only had my fall and winter and then the show and then the, the event was going to be in the beginning of spring, even though it was raining all of those days. But it was going to be in the beginning of spring. So I had to have like a spring and summer collection. And I had to create, I was going to create it nonetheless. Um, but it was, you know, the right time to create more and like a new release, and like a new collection and just showcase it first, like so that people can see it in person and just feel it and everything. And so... I had one month where I did absolutely everything and if you see what I added to the collection, what I added to um, my product, to my shop, it's quite impossible to do that in one month, but I did. I don't know how, but I did. I actually know how. I actually did not stop working. Um, I would wake up in the morning at like six something, go to my classic regular job, 
stay there until I go out, like it's from 8 to 5, and then I go out from 5 p.m., come home, literally have 30 minutes of a break, so I can have like uh, a little grab, like a little bite to eat, and then start working on my collection. And that was every single day. Like, I am not even kidding you, I did not have a second for myself, I was so drained, so tired, but I was like so pushed by my passion and by how much I love what I do that I couldn't stop. I wasn't gonna give up because first of all I pay for it, <laughs> but second of all because I love it so much and no matter how tired I get, I just don't feel like stopping, I don't feel like quitting, like I was like I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna stop. Um, even if it gets even harder, I'm still going to go for it, whether there's an event or not. It's just something that I really, really love. During the weekend, my weekend was not mine. It was solely for Kadali Design and the new collection. So I would wake up in the morning. <laughs> but I woke up every single morning um, at 8, 7.30 or something like that. And then had to go fabric shopping, had to go get all the stuff that I needed for the new collection, I had to travel to Marrakesh and I did alone because nobody would come with me and help me. It was a freaking hassle, loved every second of it, I'm not even kidding you, now that it's over, I am so proud of myself and so that's what I was doing and I did not have any weekend for myself. I did not have any five minutes for myself. My whole new collection was around pom-poms and hot, like it feels summery, it feels um, very fresh and very cute and like I have bright colors in this new collection and I have pom-poms for, every, uh, for everything and those pom-poms I did myself. It, more than a hundred pom-pom, I don't know how I did it and I handmade every single one of them. I sewed every single one of them, to every single corner, to every single product. I have no idea how I did that. But I was like in this like little bubble of mine of creating and designing and doing things and I did not think about, oh my god, let, let me have a second. I knew if I had a break, I would be um, super, um, I would be super late, so I didn't do that. And then it was time for the showcase. It, I literally read every single success story that I could. Those who have been like struggling how to get, and they have, they are really successful, but when you see someone that's very successful, you really wanna know if you want to like, um, if you want to like take advice from them, you really want to know how they started and how they got things off the ground and how um, it was when it was first year, second year and stuff like that. And most of those success stories don't make sales um, the first year, they don't expect it and I didn't expect it either. Um, someone who, like for my business, like I'm a very impatient person, but for my business, I had to be. I have to be super patient. I always knew that I wanted to start my own brand and like have my own business. I always knew that I was like 14 and I was like I'm gonna study marketing so that it helps me so that so it helps me when I start my own brand. Like I was literally 14 years old. I knew that and funny thing, it was the year that I had the worst grade ever and I just decided that year that I was gonna be <laughs> a business owner. That's the thing, like I'm a very quiet person when it comes to my plans and what I want to do with my life and stuff like that. Like my family didn't know anything about this until it started becoming a reality and I started like committing to things and then I started to tell them about uh, what like my vision and what I want to do. And even now they don't know and you know you guys don't know because I just don't, I, I'm a planner. I'm a huge planner, I have to write it down, I have to think about like how it's gonna happen, how I'm gonna make it happen, what do I need today to do to become the person that I wanna be like in a year, in a month, in two years, five years, 10 years, whatever. And that's something that's always been successful for me. So fast forward, four months, we're here today. Summer is finally here. During all this time, I felt very, very, very inspired and I always have this creative mind trying to create something new. And now I think I can commit to 
I can go back to uploading every single week like I was doing from the beginning of this year until this little showcase happened and then after the showcase I just took time off because I was exhausted and then another work opportunity came by so I didn't have my weekends and why I'm talking about my weekends because it's the only time that I get for myself because during the week you guys know I have a regular job so I can't do much during the day um, from Monday to Friday so everything that I do for Cardelli Design is in the weekends and it's when I film and it's when I do all of these things so now like I'm gonna share with you guys a couple things that I do that I really enjoy um, and I've been enjoying doing or watching in the past four months because I haven't seen you in four months oh my god and I was super like active on Instagram so if you are from Instagram hi don't forget to subscribe and if you're not from Instagram subscribe and then go follow me on Instagram um, but during this whole time YouTube has been doing a lot of changes to um, creators which I really really genuinely dislike and do not agree with but I just hate that YouTube is just making it super hard to get my videos out there because first of all it decided that you can't monetize a channel until it's 10 thousand subscribers and I'm like 580 or something like that not that I want to like absolutely making this like for money or anything else like I really don't but like I really don't as I told you guys I don't have a lot of subscribers but thank you guys so much for those who subscribe I really really do appreciate it I have no idea how or why you're subscribed to me but I really do appreciate it and so I don't have a lot of subscribers and I don't have a lot of views on my channel but it's very discouraging when it's very 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 money um, like money oriented like it's like oh you don't matter if you don't make a lot of views oh you don't matter you know what I mean like oh you're not gonna it's just something that that's like very belittling and very discouraging and thank god I do this because I freaking love it but it's just not fair I feel like it's just definitely not fair and second thing is YouTube decided that you're being subscribed is not enough and now you have to click the notification bell so that you get a notification whenever your favorite youtuber uploads a video and that's just making it harder now you have to click the notification bell so if you want to help a girl out click the notification bell it's right there but i like this is just a shameless plug but in general like who the frick sits down in a meeting room at YouTube and says, oh, let's make it harder for cre creators to put their videos out. Like, let's make it harder. How are we gonna make it harder? Like, that's just weird. And then it decides, so if you don't like have the notification bell on, you don't get to see like in your, um, in your feed, your favorite YouTubers newest video. So it's not even chronological anymore, like Instagram decided I don't know what the frick they were thinking too but as if that's not enough they decided that oh we're gonna generate like a thumbnail that we think um, your subscribers are gonna like no and it's like what like we spend a lot of time on like thumbnails and um, editing them and choosing them for you to choose my thumbnail for my video that I create and it's just I don't know why YouTube is making it hard, I don't know why YouTube is like, um, I don't know, like it's giving its attention to stupid stuff when they should give their attention to more important things like YouTubers who do stupid shit on their channels. You know what I mean? Like they're encouraging whoever they're making them money and then just making it hard for those who have small channels and I think it's really really not fair. So. That's the thing about YouTube. And then my favorite thing that on YouTube now is, apart from vlogs, because I feel like vlogs are more um, personal, and all these chit chat videos that I do, um, I have been watching Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory videos, and I'm just, what? It just makes you think, man. I love them so much. Some of them are about, about ghosts, and some of them are about the world, and are we like in a simulation? Are we like, you know what I mean? Is the planet or is planet Earth flat or round? Is um, like some conspiracy theories about some crimes that the government, the U.S. government, decides to just shut down because they don't want to look into it because 
who knows who who's behind who's behind it. I don't want to get sued or like killed or something like that. I'm sorry, but <laughs> what I'm saying is Shane Dawson's conspiracy videos are crazy, and I freaking love them. I watch them every single day. I, I'm not done yet. Thank God he has a lot of them. But yeah, you should check them out. I will link them down below. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this comeback video on my YouTube channel. I will be uploading more because I have more time. I'm in a better mood because it's freaking summer. And now I'm gonna go tan, which I definitely miss doing that. It hasn't been like that sunny. And I hope you subscribe. Please do. And click the notification bell too so you get a notification. I'm not gonna spam you. I don't upload every single day. Your phone's not gonna explode. You're just gonna get a notification. Hey, I uploaded. What's up? Come back. And then speaking of my collection, I will leave the link to my online shop and also my blog. I write articles about travel, food, health, uh, fitness, what, everything, literally everything. And then I have the shop where I have Moroccan vintage collection, I have my contemporary collection, spring, summer, fall, winter, everything is in there. It's all in the down bar and I will see you in the next video.